we're going to spend a lot of time focusing on this other way of reporting fixed costs, and that is the average fixed cost or the fixed cost per unit per megawatt hour of electricity generated. So we're going to think about, well, what is the fixed cost per month? Well, how much electricity are we generating that month? And then we will divide the fixed payment we make by the number of megawatt hours we generate, and that will give us our average fixed costs. But the, before, we, before we start thinking about the average fixed costs, we have to introduce one more idea, and that is the capacity factor of the power plant. So we're going to run through a quick definition of capacity factor because we're going to use that as a measure of how much a power plant is running. So often we're going to think about uh, the output of a power plant rather than in uh, raw megawatt hours. We're going to think about it in terms of uh, what percent of full capacity is this power plant running. So the capacity factor is what fraction of a plant's maximum capacity is achieved in practice. Uh, so let's go back to our 500 megawatt uh, power plant. Uh, how does the actual output compare to what the plant could generate if it were running at full capacity all the time? Well, how much could it run in a year? Well, a year is 8,760 hours, so the maximum output you could conceivably get from this power plant is if it were running at the full 500 megawatts for the full 8,760 8, hours a year, that would be um, 4,380,000 megawatt hours in the year. All right, so that would be the full capacity of the power plant. Uh, now, the actual capacity factor, we're going to measure as a percentage of that total. So that's the full capacity. We're going to think about what did the power plant actually produce, and then we'll calculate the percentage of full capacity that that represents. So let's just think about 1%. Uh, let's just think about if this plant were running with a 1% capacity factor. So instead of 100%, it's running 1% capacity. Well, instead of 8,760 hours, the plant would be running 87.6 hours if it were running 1% capacity factor. So we think about it running at 500 megawatts for about 88 hours, and that would give us about 43,800 uh, megawatt hours of output per year if the plant were running at 1% capacity. All right, so the capacity factor is a measure of how what we're really gener what we're actually generating compares to what we could generate if the plant ran at full capacity for the entire period we're thinking about. So if we move this down to monthly capacity, a month has about 730 hours in it, and so a 1% capacity factor in a month would be would have the plant running about 7.3 hours in the month and it would generate about 3,600 or so megawatt hours. So again, the full monthly capacity would be running at 500 megawatts for 730 hours. A 1% capacity factor has the 500 megawatts at 7.3 hours a month. All right, so now that we understand about capacity factors, often we'll be using capacity factor as a measure of the output of the power plant. So sometimes we'll be talking about the output in terms of the megawatt hours, and sometimes we'll be talking about the output in terms of the capacity factor of the power plant, depending on which way of talking about it seems to be most useful. But for a given size power plant, those things are going to be re related to each other in a way that, that we can um, easily figure out. All right, so next we want to think about those fixed costs. Uh, uh, we're going to go back and think about fixed costs in terms of the amount of megawatt hours generated in a given month. Uh, so how do we calculate our fixed costs? Well, we take our full monthly payment and we divide it by the number of megawatt hours we generate. 
and that's going to give us dollars per megawatt hours or rupee per megawatt hours, however we're, uh, whatever currency we're working in. Um, and so the number of megawatt hours per month is going to be calculated. We're going to use the capacity factor for calculating it. So we're going to calculate the megawatt hours per month by taking the plant's capacity factor, multiplying it by the hours in the month, um, and uh, and multiplying that by the plant's capacity. So we take the capacity, 500 megawatts, multiply it by the hours in the month, which is 730, and then we have uh, the capacity factor. So suppose a plant is running at 60% capacity factor, then we'd multiply that. Uh, and that would tell us what our total megawatt hours per month is. The payment is the same every month, so we're going to take our monthly megawatt hours divide that into our fixed payment, and that gives our average fixed costs. Now, it's pretty obvious from this calculation that the average, fact, the average fixed cost is going to fall as the capacity factor of the plant increases. As the capacity factor of the plant increases, that's going to increase the megawatt hours we generate. Our monthly fixed cost is staying the same, so the more we generate, the more we're dividing into those fixed costs, and so the fixed costs are going to tend to fall as we add capacity factor to the power plant, as we run the power plant at higher and higher capacity factors. The capital costs are spread over more megawatt hours, and so the average fixed costs are going to fall. So let's just go through a quick example on fixed costs. This is something everybody already knows how to calculate, but we want to make, again, we're, we're, the exercise here is to make sure we're all um, talking about costs in precisely the same way. So let's go ahead and go through a quick exercise on average fixed costs. We're going to take our 500 megawatt power plant and our fixed monthly payment of $2,129,000 and calculate our fixed costs for various capacity factors. So uh, a, a given month has about, as we mentioned earlier, has about 730 hours. So if our plant is running at 100% capacity factor, we have 500 megawatt hours for 730 hours in a month. That's 365,000 megawatt hours in the month. Then we have our monthly payment of $2,129,000. So we take that monthly payment, divide it by the $365,000, and we get a, an average fixed cost for this power plant of $5.83. Uh, if we reduce the capacity factor of the power plant and only run it at 50%, then immediately we know the average fixed costs are going to go up. Uh, so we take our $2,129,000 now and divide that by the new um, uh, amount of generation at 50% capacity, which is about 182,000, 183,000 megawatt hours, and we get an average fixed cost of $11.70. If we further reduce it, the capacity factor to 25%, we're only going to generate um, a little over 91,000 megawatt hours. Uh, we still have our 2,129,000 fixed payment, but now we're only dividing it by 91,000 megawatt hours, and the average fixed cost goes up to 23.3. And the lower the capacity factor, the faster the average fixed cost is going to go up. So let's just look at a picture. Uh, here's a picture of the average fixed cost for our power plant as a function of the capacity factor. So on the, on the x-axis of this graph, on the, the horizontal axis of the graph, we're showing the capacity factor of the power plant, and it goes all the way from zero to 100%. And so what we're going to want to do is draw the average cost of the power plant for every given capacity factor. And you can see if the plant is running out here at 100,000, at 100%, at and let me go ahead and pull my little pencil up here. If we're running at 100%, we already calculated our average fixed costs are going to be close to $5. Okay? 
if we go down to 75 percent, our average fixed costs are our average fixed costs are higher. Uh, there, let's see, uh, at 75 percent, uh, they're going to be something less than eleven dollars. Let's call it ten dollars. Probably pretty close. As the capacity factor gets lower and lower, um, at at uh, a capacity factor of 50 percent, our average fixed costs were about twelve dollars, and then they went down. They went as the capacity factor went down to twenty five percent. We went up to twenty three dollars, and you can see as the capacity factor gets below twenty five percent, the average fixed costs start going up really really fast because we have the same fixed payment, but we're dividing it by many fewer megawatt hours. So the average costs increase very quickly as we uh, move to much lower capacity factors. So this area right here, I've even cut off the very top part of the graph because um, it goes up really high really fast.